Have you come across a man who was locked out of his house regardless of him having paid full rent? How about a man who shared very many ladies just to please the clique that he was in? How about every kind of domestic violence that we are hearing about in families today just because of the lockdown? Very many of these we can relate to them. But here, I tell you that in such a situation, the only one that we need is God, our wonderful counselor, to help us get out of such situations. I'm Hindu Douglas. I'm married. I gave my life to Christ. Today we are going to talk about this attribute of God, a wonderful counselor. But first, we need to note and acknowledge that we have one Godhead who works in Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So often, time in this uh, sharing, I will use these three interchangeably, but just always remember that I'm addressing the same sovereign God. Praise God. Okay, from wherever you are, just think about this on a, on a personal basis. Who do you call God? And maybe to just simplify it, who do you know God as? In your own way, who do you know God as? As you're thinking about that, let's go to Isaiah 9, 6. What does it tell us? Uh, the names of God, you know, Isaiah brings out these names of God and you just need to relate to any situation that you're in and how you also take God as in your life. Isaiah 9, 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Today, as we are looking at the attributes of God, and specifically, I want us to single out that first one, wonderful counselor. And we are going to, we let, let's first understand what does the word, who is a counselor? Who is a counselor? Um, a counselor is an advisor. An advisor. And yes, God gives advice to his children and those whom, who, you know, who refer to him as father. By the way, you may be part of God's creation, but not part of his children. You're not part of the sonship. So those that refer to him as the father, he's never finished with us. All we need to do is seek after him always, always. Even this trouble that we are going through, this pandemic that we are going through, maybe the trouble that you're going through there at home, you know, maybe there's that temptation that, you know, so you're struggling with. My brother, my sister, my fellow youth, wherever you are, I know there are very many things that we struggle with in the secret places. But remember, the Bible tells us that there is no temptation that God allows us to, to face that we have no way out. So God is the only counselor that is going to advise you and is going to put a way for you, my brother, my sister, wherever you are, and you get out of whatever thing you're facing right now, whatever temptation, whatever trial you're going through right now. He is the only advisor. We are, we are hearing every time, you know, domestic violence wherever. This is going to help God is going to help you and I settle in our families fine and without any any violence, any any kind of, 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 of fighting, you know, against one another in our families. Because he another thing is he is the priest of peace. He is going to bring peace in our families. And this is this is where we need to realize it from. Second Corinthians 4. 7 to 11, it, it tells us that we are afflicted in every way but not crushed. We are perplexed but not driven to despair. We are persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not destroyed, 
we are always carrying, carrying in the body the death of Jesus Christ. And that death, that death leads us to call God our counselor. It leads you to call him to give you peace in the hearts, my brother, my sister, wherever you are. So for we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake. And another thing that we need to know about, about a wonderful counselor is he is our advocate. He is our advocate. The Bible tells us in 1 John 2, 1 to 2 that John, John is addressing it, that my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Not only our sins, we who gave our lives to Christ, but also the sins of the whole world. God, our Prince of Peace. My brother, my sister who is listening to me, maybe you're outside there and maybe you've been in, you know, held up in that cohabiting uh, relationship for a long time and you're asking yourself how you're going to get out. Hey, listen, you have a counselor. My brother, my sister, maybe you've lost someone who is so dear to you and has been helping you in whatever thing that you have been thinking of. Maybe even you are waiting for that help to come in for your project that is coming ahead. Listen, you have a counselor, not just a counselor, but a wonderful counselor that is going to lead you to the right path because he says he has wonderful plans for you and for me. So, you need to receive this Jesus Christ in your life. You who has never received Christ in your life, you need to receive him. And he will start advising you, taking you to the right path. He will be the advocate. He will be your advocate at the right hand of the Father, fighting for you, pleading for you, and always being the path for you to be forgiven of your sins. Let me pray for you wherever you are. Father, we thank you, we glorify you, and I thank you for this one so Lord, King of Glory, that is turning to you and they are yearning to receive you. Father, just as you said, you are at the doorway. Jesus Christ is at the doorway of this person's heart, Father. I pray that may they open the door for you to enter. And when you enter, Lord, you say that you will dwell in them and them in you. And Lord, you're going to be their wonderful counselor. You're going to be their priest of peace. You're going to, to, to always advocate for them on their behalf to our Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, O oh Lord God. May you bless them in Jesus' mighty name of prayed and believed. Amen and amen. May God bless you wherever you are. And always remember that we are in this lockdown, but we are not going to be broken down by any situation that comes unto us in this lockdown. Stay positive, be at peace, and always look for God in everything you do. Be blessed in everything, my brothers and sisters. Amen.